Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rahaka Kadash. Double honors to my apostles and elders, a great millstone, and peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. All right, I got this article this morning. It says, uh, some people I follow uh, on Twitter, actually, in Times Headlines, and they bring a bunch of good information, you know, and we're considered watchmen, so we're constantly watching to see what's going to happen next. So the article reads, military officials are warning the United States is unprepared for a major war, and the big one is coming. Yeah, the big one. What's that? World War Three. Okay. The war to end all wars. And not too long ago, you had uh, President Joe Biden speak about Armageddon. Okay, you got all these bombs that are just sitting here. Just sitting here, just waiting to be used in the United States and in Russia and uh, China. As you can see, North Korea, you know, what's his name, Kim Jo Young, they're being, they're, they're, they're getting prepared. They're, they got a lot of missiles also. And guess what, Babylon the Great, aka America, is enemies with all these countries. And Lord willing, we can get a few scriptures Okay, because this is Mystery Babylon, and in the end, this place will be burned with fire, man. Thus saith the Lord God of the Bible. I'm just going to read a few, read through the article. It says, as the war rages in Ukraine and China continue to develop its nuclear capabilities, some military officials are warning the United States is unprepared to be dragged into warfare. Well, not too long ago, the army was complaining that they couldn't recruit enough people. And after those those uh those hokey pokies, you know, being forced on their membership, a lot of people in the army, you know, throughout the army, the Marines, the Air Force, things like that, they were, you know, banned from the army or they quit. Because it was going against their will to get that hokey pokey. Okay? And you know what I mean by hokey pokey. That, that, um, that J-A-B. Okay? And they lost a lot of people because of these things. Okay? Now they're trying to recruit to bring back more people. Okay, but they're not going to get the people that they want. That's that. That's why they're resorting to things like robots, different drones. Okay, because this war is going to be totally different than the past wars. They're going to use robots and things like that to, to get the job done instead of people because people aren't going to want to fight for them. It says... The, the warnings come after it was reported in October, okay, this is where I'm at, just in case you lost it, that America's military had become weaker over the last several years and is at risk of not being able to respond to outside threats. The Heritage Foundation and its 2023 index of the U.S. military strength noted that the military is weak. <laughs> Look at that, man. The military is weak. And why is the military weak? Well, Babylon the Great is weak. Did not you see Joe Biden follow those stairs? <laughs> Eating ice cream, kissing on little kids. Yeah, man. This place is weak. The people are weak. Everything is fake. Fake boobs, fake titties. You know, it's the same thing. Fake booties, fake lips. Fake everything, fake face, fake uh, people on Facebook living a life that they're not really living. 
acting like they're happy, but they're not. Everything is fake here, man. Okay? Fake everything. You know, you got all types of uh, filters so you can act, act like you're prettier than you are. Everything is fake in America. Okay? And it's weak. Okay? Let me look up that word weak real quick. Weak. It says, lacking the power, look at that, to perform physically. Demanding task. Lacking physical strength and energy. Yeah, that's America for you. And that's the people, which America is a, you know, it's a people, right? It's a lot of these, a lot of these uh, heathens, man. And, and two thirds of our people, they're weak, man. Frail, feeble, puny, fragile. Yeah, this place is fragile. It's like, it's like it's a vase and it's, <laughs> you know, it's all cracked up. And if you just move it just a little bit, that motherfucker's just going to. You know, it's going to break. Okay. So this place is not prepared like these other countries are prepared, man. Yeah, we got a great military and this, that, and the other. We got great technology and, and submarines and, you know, warheads and this, that, and the other. But we failed our last <laughs> few test nuclear uh was that hypersonic missile test we failed all of them man and every time they do a simulation of war between russia and war between china america loses man okay so as we're on the brink of world war three the talk is that america's military is weak it says and it says weak and that it was at growing risk of not being able to meet the demands of defending America's vital national interests. It's okay. Marking the first time in the index's nine-year history that the country has been rated so low. Yeah, man. It says, this Ukraine crisis that we're in right now, this is just the warm-up. Yeah, you can see that if you have eyes to see. It says Charles Richmond it says said Navy Admiral Bull, Admiral Charles Richardson, the commander of US Strategic Command. So <laughs> that's what they're doing. They're, they're using Ukraine as a, a, a practice battlefield. And everybody knows that. Okay. It says uh the big one is coming. And what's this one, man? Okay. Russia versus the United States, Russia and China and North Korea and, and all their allies versus the United States and all their allies. OK. Now, Russia's going to war for the new world order. They don't want to be up under America's new world order, their global uh, currency. That's why you got the dollar going out and you got the ruble coming in. Okay, if you pay attention to those financial things. Okay, it says the big one is coming and it isn't going to be very long before we're going to get tested in ways that we haven't been tested in a long time. Okay, these things are happening. Now, this is this is a key point that I wanted to bring out. I read this a little bit earlier. It says just last year, just last year. China launched a hypersonic missile that was able to travel around the world and land back at home. Wow, man. America can't do that. Okay? It can't. It's not developing hypersonic missiles to travel around the whole world. Now, during that time, America didn't even know it happened. Nobody was known but China and probably Russia and them, you know? So just think, these people over here got missiles that can't even be detected. Like in Russia, they got missiles that can't even be detected. You you won't even know it's there until it hits you. America don't have that kind of technology, man, in their missiles, man. Oh, man, some good tea, bud. They don't have that kind of technology. Let me read that again. 
Just last year, China launched a hypersonic missile that was able to travel around the world, man, and land back at home. The revelation had made clear that America was falling behind, raising questions about how we are going to mitigate our assumed eventual failure, Richard said. He also said, as I assess our level of deterrence against China, the ship is slowly sinking. Now, this is a U.S. Navy admiral saying this about his own country and his own um, military force. He says their ship is sinking. <laughs> okay. Coming from the words of a U.S. Navy admiral captain or whatever it is, you know, who, who, who trains with and, and, and do, does all these things within the military of America. He's saying these things, man. It is sinking slowly, but it is sinking as fundamentally they are putting capability in the field faster than we are. It says it won't matter how good our commanders are or how good our horses are. Yeah, your tanks, your helicopters. That's what he means by horses. <laughs> your vehicles of warfare. We're not going to have enough of them. And that is a very near-term problem. So, as you can see, man. Yeah. It says, Richard noted the U.S. continues to have an advantage with its submarines, but even that may decrease in the coming years if the country doesn't begin addressing its maintenance problems and necessary construction. Source. It has a source here. <coughs> Where this is coming from. <clears throat> but yeah. Pretty much, man. Yep. That's the source right there. And and I follow these guys on Twitter, you know, and, and on Instagram because he's constantly up to date on everything, man. We can go to his page and uh, go to his page and, and check things out, you know. Um, so basically, man, hey, America is not ready, man, you know, and it's all the will of the Lord, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai, to, to bring Babylon the Great, okay, to its knees, okay, okay, so that's, that's one article right there. It's another one that says millions in U.S. can no longer make ends meet, even with two jobs. November 5th. Okay. And these things are happening rapidly, man, because why? The Lord is making these things happen, man. There is a tsunami of tech layoffs happening, and it could be the largest we ever seen, man. Let me go into some scriptures, man. Let me go into some scriptures real quick. What I have. Revelation 16. And I think I got another one. Now he said unprepared, right? Unprepared. <laughs> okay. He said unprepared. Let's go back to the article. They're unprepared. That word unprepared, right? You see? Military officials are warning the United States is unprepared. Now, let's get that word unprepared real quick in the etymology. Then I'm going to hit some scriptures. See, I already pulled it up. Unprepared. Okay. It says, uh, without preparation, not prepared for. Unprepared. Um, but you're going to break down un and prepared. Okay. Un. Okay. It says, uh, not right not prepared un meaning not okay so they're not prepared un not uh it says uh so they're not prepared and what's prepared mean it says set in order okay it says set in order order or readiness for a particular end and what's that particular end man 
one people against another people a particular end. It's death, man. You know, World War Three. The end of all wars, man. You know? And ultimately, it's going to be Yahweh Shai coming and, and, and taking back his kingdom. That's why he's gathering all these people over in the, in, into the, 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 those countries over there. The Valley of Jehoshaphat, man. Why? To, 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 to make war with the beasts. To make war with these damn enemies of the cross, man. Okay? And they're unprepared. Prepared. It says to make ready. To make ready. Okay? To make ready beforehand. Okay? To make ready beforehand. Okay? And they're not prepared. America is not prepared, man. Okay? And it's all the will of the Lord, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai. Okay? Let me get this real quick. I wanted to bring this out. Revelations um, 17. And, and, and all these nations are just waiting to take a bite out of Babylon the Great, man. This is Revelation 17 and 15, and it reads, And he saith unto me, The waters which thou sawest, where the horse sitteth. And that makes me automatically think of the, the uh, what that thing called again? <laughs> See, the Bible codes code with it. You can automatically, when you think about that, you think about the Statue of Liberty. That's sitting up on the water, man. You know, that fucking harlot woman. With the crown on her head. That's Babylon the Great. You know, what's that, New York or somewhere like that? It's sitting on many waters, ain't it? Those waters lead to the other waters that lead to the other waters. It says, and he saith unto me, the waters which thou sawest, where the whore sitteth. <laughs> yeah, that, that, <laughs> it's not talking about that, but it, it reminds me of the Statue of Liberty. See, the Lord made it so that you would see everything clear in these last days, man. We see clearly that the Statue of Liberty is sitting on them and, and the women ain't supposed to be in rulership positions. Got, the woman has a crown on her head, man. Where the horse sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues. Yeah. And the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast. Okay. These ten horns, okay, it's talking about the rest of uh, the allies of uh, America, man. Babylon the Great, the EU, okay, European Union and stuff like that, you know, it says, these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate, so America's own allies are going to make her desolate, man, you know, desolate meaning um, empty, destroyed, destruction. These shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked. Okay? And shall with fire. Let's go to it. Desolate. It says, Ere Mo'o. Ere Mo'o. Strong's G 2049. It says to make desolate, lay waste, to ruin, bring to desolation, to despoil one, strip her of her treasures. Yeah. Who's her? America, aka Babylon the Great. Okay. So this Lord is making making clear understanding of what's gonna happen in the future. And this is a future prophecy. This is what's about to happen to America, man. Okay, verse, uh, it says, and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Now, what's that fire going to be? That's going to be war, man. See, America is the only place that ain't been touched. You know, troops haven't really got down on the ground here in America and caused a disruption. Okay, and chaos. It's going to be like that movie Red Dawn when the, those Chinese troops are falling from the air. Yeah, they don't make these movies for no reason, man. Verse 17, it says, And Yahweh hath put in their hearts to fulfill his will. Okay? 
And what's the will of the Lord? To destroy Babylon the Great, a.k.a. America, a.k.a. Rome 2.0, for the controversy of Zion, for the controversy of his children, man, for all that they've done to us and to the world, and what they continue to do to the world, man. For Yahweh have put in their hearts to fulfill his will and to agree and give their kingdom unto the beast, unto the words of the Yahweh shall be fulfilled. And the woman which thou sawest is that great city which reigneth over the kings of the earth. And America is a great, great city that reigns over the kings of the earth, man. Okay. I had one more. I, I was trying to figure out one in uh, Revelation six. There's all types of things you can you can go into about these damn devils, man. I'm trying to be specific. It says, uh, "I want to read this right here." <clears throat> yep, I'll, I'll read that. It says Revelation sixteen and fifteen. It says, "Behold, I come as a thief." Blessed is he that watches. And what are we doing? We watching, man. We watching, trying to see what what's about to happen. Because World War Three is coming, man. Okay? World War Three is coming. The third world coming. Okay? So we, we got to watch. We got to pay attention. Like, you know, everybody else ain't paying attention to what's going on, man. Except for us, man. That's why we're reading articles, going into the scriptures, breaking things down. Breaking down, uh, breaking, breaking down his prophecies, man. You know, so that people that come into the fold, they can, they can be up to date and they can, they can get their minds right and repent before the Lord, man. You know, before the Lord comes, because he's coming, man. Behold, I come as a thief. The Lord said he comes as a thief in the night, man. Blessed is he that watcheth and keepeth his garments, lest he walk naked. And they see his shame. And he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. Now that's what Biden said not too long ago. Right? The Lord is gathering all these nations together, man, to to to, to bring destruction on them all at the same time. Okay? All of them at the same time, man. <laughs> This is uh, Revelation 16 and 19. And the great city was divided into three parts. And the cities of the nations fell, and great Babylon, a.k.a. America, came in remembrance before Yahweh, the Most High, to give unto her the cup of the wine of the fierceness of his wrath. So the sins of this place is reaching up into the Lord's nose, man. Okay? And he's going to bring missiles on this place, man. Verse 20, and every island fled away, and the mountains were not found, and there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven, every stone about the weight of a talent, and men blasphemed Yahweh because of the plagues of the hail, and the plagues therefore were exceedingly great, man, yeah, Lord gonna do this place like Sodom and Gomorrah and rain fire hail down on this place, man, those missiles. Okay, the Lord created the smith that blew up the coals in the furnace, right? What's that? Uh, is that Isaiah or Zechariah? <laughs> yeah, well, we're pretty much done. Let me see. <sighs> yeah, man. The Lord is doing all these things, man. Isaiah 54 and 16, it says, Behold, I have created the smith that bloweth the coals in the fire, and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. Okay, so the Lord created these missiles. He created the science behind it. He created all of it. Why? Why did he do that? So that this day that's coming, the great day of the Lord, he created it for the great day of the Lord, man. He created it for this time that we're coming into. For World War Three, he created it so these devils can 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 kill themselves. Okay, now those missiles ain't just sitting there for no reason. 
Okay. The Lord clearly said, I have created the smith that blew up the coals in the fire and that bringeth forth an instrument for his work. What's that instrument? Nuclear warheads, man. So with that, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Hopefully this message was edifying. Shalom.